What is ski flying to you? Better than not flying all winter. That's the best thing about it. <laughs> got done filming some air-to-air -air shots with Tom. I'm now heading back to my local airport. And on my way here, I saw this mountaintop top that I was like, oh man, I might be able to land there with on my tires uh, because there's a bunch of snowmobile tracks on it. But I did touch my tires for a second and it, it felt pretty solid. I'm gonna scope it out. I don't think I'm gonna land there because I don't got skis on, I have tires. <laughs> That's the ridge right there. I don't know if you can see it, but God, it looks smooth, open. Oh, I should try it, but I'm gonna make an approach and just check it out. This is a little crazy. Got a nice little upslope to it. I don't have skis on, I got big tires. 26 good years. Put a notch of flaps in there. Got a little bit of a dog leg. Looks like we're at 8,000 feet. Holy shit, I did it. <laughs> Oh man, it's a little soft up here. Holy crap, I'm on top of a freaking snowy mountain. Woo, that was, that was intense. Hopefully it's thick enough to where I get off this thing. Let's get out, check it out, take some photos. Woo, that was crazy. Holy cow. Wow. It is a little soft, but it's 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 not too bad. Put her down like right here and then rolled out up to there. Gosh, I need to get skis. Then I don't have to land on snowmobile tracks. Okay, so I just kind of scoped out where I landed, but I don't think I'm gonna go that way because I got a little headwind coming from the, the south. So I'm gonna head off this way. It's pretty steep, but it's pretty firm. And uh, take off going that way. I don't think, I would set a camera up and do this twice, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> this is a one-time deal. And I am post holing. Well, I'm a little nervous about that, actually. I gotta take some photos because this is just beautiful. Just gonna, I'm just gonna lay some tracks because it's pretty soft. I'm gonna see what it feels like going that way and then I'll stop and turn around and try this again. Yeah, this is not good. It's really soft. We gotta pack this thing down. Little update. <laughs> 
about half an hour, 45 minutes has gone by. I tried taxiing back and forth and it's, it's too soft. I'm trying right now to push, make a path for myself. And the plane goes, it packs it down. It makes it pretty, pretty packed. But moving this airplane around in the snow is not easy. I called Tom, I think Tom's gonna come. Looks like Tom's coming. That was really stupid of me to land here. Thank God I got uh, friends that have uh, ski planes. Now he's gotta figure out how we get Tom on here without hitting me. I think if he goes right here. Doing a little touch and go, checking it out, but this is definitely the, where he wants to end up. My savior, Tom Zimko. Oh shit. He's right there on the cornice. Yeah, I'm in a bad situation. Well, I can probably make some phone calls to that got snow machines that could possibly run your ass up here tomorrow. So here's my options. Tom's got to be somewhere early in the morning, so I could stay at his place and then find some snowmobilers to run me up in the morning. It was 27 last night. Or I could sleep here at my plane tonight and uh, wake up and take off. I don't know. I think you ought to we have packed this, I don't know, probably 200 foot takeoff, like this. I'm going to get in the plane with Tom, and we're going to go back to his place, and then I'll head over to Sanders and come up in the morning. Yeah, it's still a little soft here. Might be doable, but better safe than sorry. I just hope that uh, it stays calm tonight. My plane is here in the morning. That's the gamble. Try to go for it right now or wait tomorrow and go in the morning. And we got a gas can we're gonna dig in the ground and tie down one wing and then we could bury it. You're thinking burying the other thing? Yeah, we're gonna bury that bed roll in that plastic jug and that's gonna be it. Cool. All right, that's the plan. I'm gonna keep stomping and tie the plane down. At the High Sierra, yeah, went up to Uncle's plane. And I just pulled as hard as I could, and pulled it right out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's kind of just that. It's a hell of a way to lose an airplane. I know, right? Well, the wind comes up tonight at my place. I will not let you know. Oh, yeah. So just assume it's not. <laughs> A little bit of a sketchy takeoff, a few rocks poking out we gotta try to miss, and my plane. Here we go. I'm ready to go over the rocks and hit the plane. Yeah.
this bike. Get that tail up and haul ass. That's the plan. Yeah. But. I'll text you the temperature tomorrow morning from my place. Okay. Just give you something to eyeball. Yeah, exactly. If it's like 50, you punch. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. See you, Spike. Right. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Tom is nice enough to lend me his car. I'm going to go to Sanders' place. He's right here, him and Bo, and stay there and up early and go, go get my plane. That's the plan. Good morning, guys. I hope you slept better than I did because, well, I didn't sleep because my baby was up on top of a mountain, and hopefully my baby's still up on top of the mountain and not off to the other side. But we didn't get any winds last night because that was a forecast at Tom's place, and he's pretty close to the location. The, the temperatures were below freezing, so I should have a nice, solid uh, takeoff runway. And uh, right now I'm heading back to Tom's to drop his car off, and then Sander's going to pick me up and we're gonna go try to find the airplane. It's gonna be kind of a mission because it's different when you're trying to look for something on the ground versus in the air. So that's the mission right now. Go find the plane. Hopefully it's still there. Wish us luck. Back at Tom's. Waiting for Santa to pick me up here. Get him, Spike. Get him. Get that bird out of the snow. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, good. <laughs> Is this gonna be us uh, doubling? Oh, it should be fine. There's a little nuts to butts action. We'll go side by side. Yeah. I think I actually goes. see. Oh, shit. Old Yeller. Old Yeller. She's probably cold. We found it. We just got it. We got some ravines to go through. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit of a mission. Oh, oh shit. Gorgeous. Look at it. I'm in Down in the That was wild. I think I was more scared going up that hill. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I was doing that by myself the other day. It's just too gnar over there. I was like, oh shit, this is where I die. But now I gotta fly this plane off this mountain, so that's, that's gonna be fun too. <laughs> Is 
that yours? That's mine. Nice. <laughs> we got a problem. It's on the plane. We got a problem. We got about a 20 mile an hour downwind. <sighs> Shit. I ain't going off that way. using those skis. Nice little backcountry runway here for Alt Jonas off of the Oblivion, man. Gnarly. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's Inferno, the devil's maze, it's a good world, good world going back. So, wind's kind of died down. Pushed it back and forth, made a little track. And um, it's time for a showdown. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I mean, yeah, talk to me. So you, you think that it, it looks reasonable to me. I don't know how, about flying though. Once I hit this hard stuff, and once I start going down that ridge, I mean, because with like skiing stuff, you know, you get nervous before, but like, you know, you're capable of doing it. Like, I yeah, feel like exactly. you're capable of doing this. It's not like a, it might work. Yeah, it'll, it'll work. Sweet dude. Time to get this puppy out of snow, huh? <laughs> Flying shoes on. I'll probably have to warm it up a little bit more. So Sean, I'll call you later. Here we go. You got it, Jonas. Nail it, brother. Go full throttle. It flaps when I hit the top of the hill. I can't pull it up too soon. I gotta ride it. As long as I can. Yeah. 